polycystic ovarian syndrome or they've been diagnosed specifically fibroids or whatever it is that they are uh, have been diagnosing. Yes, my beloved from Australia, blessed love. From Jamaica again, give thanks. Mandala from Australia and Dawns from Jamaica, give thanks. Yes, as we said, we are talking about hormonal imbalances. Because all fibroids and polycystic ovarian syndrome, fibroids, polycystic ovarian syndrome, endometriosis, all these, they are not really diseases in their own cells. They are basically symptoms of hormonal imbalance. So when it is that uh, the hormones of a woman is imbalanced, when it is that that humans, blessed love from St. Bats, give thanks, when it is that woman, uh, her physical structure is imbalanced, her hormones are imbalanced, her progesterone, her, her, her luteinizing hormone, her oxytocin, her serotonin, her dopamine, you know, when it is that her cortisol, when it is that her, all these FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, all these different hormones, they are particularly hormones that actually affect the, the physical structure of the human in a very specific type of way. So, if it is that we don't have that overstanding of the endocrine system and the fact that, that what you eat, what you drink, what you think, what you say, what you hear, what you do, where you go, where you sit, where you run, <coughs> you know, what you smell, what you see, every single aspect of the physical structure, every single aspect, every aspect of the life of the human, every aspect of the life of the human would go an extremely long way to actually decide what is the hormonal makeup of a physical structure. Right, so... I'm inviting one and one from all over on YouTube. Can't make any comments. All right, give thanks. Rastafari. So, when it is that um, we now, as a people, <laughs> don't fully, fully understand exactly what it is that a woman is going through when she's going through polycystic ovarian syndrome, what a woman is going through, when she is going through fibroids, what a woman is going through, when she is going through endometriosis. We have to understand that the woman's physical structure is basically very, very much controlled by what we refer to as a hormones. And the hormones are what you call biological messengers. They, what they do is that they actually transfer messages right from one aspect from one organ to another organ to another organ you know another organ and all organs are made up of tissues and all tissues are made up of cells right so when it is that you understand that that the things that you consume plenty of the things that our sisters actually consume. Many of the things that people actually eat and what they wear and how they wear it, all these things they add or subtract from particular hormones within the woman's physical structure. So it is important to understand that very important to understand that that the things that we say and the things that we do, right, the way that we actually conduct ourselves, the way that it is that we deal with our problems, our situations, our thoughts of other people, our thoughts of other situations, how we think when we see somebody, how we respond when someone actually speaks to us. How we greet people around us. How we greet the people in our home. How we speak to the people in our home. How we speak to the people in our jobs. How we speak to the people in our, in our classrooms. The person you meet in the elevator. For some reason in, in the world that we are living now, people have been, been fooled to even assume that 
they are living in a singularity. They are living in a capsule whereby the, the, the works and the actions of other people do not really affect them. So they believe like as if the way that they are living, right? They, 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 nobody else, life can affect me, you know? So as a woman, as a woman, it is very, very important to understand that. Very important to understand that. That every relationship that you have, Every single relationship that you have, every single time you talk to someone or you speak to someone, everything that you listen from someone, everything that you see of someone, everything that you smell of someone, all these simple little things there will definitely overall, overall affect how your physical structure actually functions. And affects the hormonal integrity of your physical structure. If we understand that, for the ovaries of a woman, right, a, to be able to, 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 to produce follicles, right, follicles, every egg comes out of a follicle. These follicles are actually created within the ovaries of a woman. Every woman has two ovaries, a left ovary and a right ovary. So the ovary is not inside of the womb. The ovaries are attached to the side of the womb, right? And you have two fallopian tubes, one on either side, above each of the ovaries with finger-like projections called fimbri that actually covers the top of each of these ovaries, anticipating on the 14th day of the menstrual cycle the release of an egg. The release of an egg. Every 14 days by the ovaries. Now, for the ovary to actually be able to produce that egg, the hormone FSH, follicle stimulating hormone, have to be secreted by the endocrine system, pituitary gland. Right? So, just for your ovaries as a woman, to be able to produce the eggs, to go through the process of follicles, the production of follicles. Just for that to happen, just for that to happen, your pituitary gland would have had to be producing follicle stimulating hormone now just just to give you a, an understanding that so to get the follicles to actually develop into graphene follicles and mature to release that egg the level of fsh have to be up there then all of the time even for your physical structure, the ovaries, to release that egg, there must be an increase in the level of LH, luteinizing hormone. And after the egg is actually released, that follicle that actually housed Right? The follicle that manifested into the egg, the remnants of it becomes what you call the corpus luteum and produces a large quantity of progesterone to maintain 
a period free. Period. A cycle free, a menstruation free, a hemorrhaging free. So what prevents you from just bleeding right afterwards or having a, 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 the, the, the initiation of the menstrual flow is the fact that even the remnants of the, of the graphene follicle forms the corpus luteum of pregnancy, produces progesterone, maintains, right? So if it is that you get pregnant before you have your amniotic sac and all these things actually forming, before you have the, uh, the placenta and all these different aspects being formed, the production of your progesterone to maintain the pregnancy have to be done by the remnants, right? The remnants of the sac. Why, why would this? Why would you do that, right? The remnants of the sac, right? Of the remnants of the sac of the egg, literally, would be producing progesterone to prevent you from having a cycle. So, when we understand that all these different steps within the natural cycle of the woman, all these different steps, all of them are controlled by chemicals. So, when a woman has fibroids, when they have cysts, when they are, in, they are infertile, you know, when they don't produce any eggs when they develop breast cancer when they are, are, are depressed when they have anxiety you know when they are, are, have manic disorders whatever it is that they're suffering from understand that overstand that a lot of these conditions have a very strong relation to the endocrine system the imbalance of the hormones so if it is that you as a woman don't understand that your problem that you have, the issues that you are suffering from, right, is as a result of your hormones being imbalanced rather than that you just have fibroids. Yes, Honorable Empress Itopia on YouTube, blessed love. Not just that you have fibroids, or you have cysts, or you have endometriosis, right? Or that you have breast cancer. A lot of the times, your, your, the, the source of your problem is hormonal imbalance. So what are the things that would cause the hormones of a woman to be imbalanced? Through our teachings, what we teach is that seventy percent of the problem comes from the mind, thoughts, emotions. So if you have fibroids, seventy percent of your problem is because of your mind. If you have polycystic ovarian syndrome, 70% of your problem is your mind, your emotions. If you have breast cancer, 70% of your problem is your mind, your emotions. So then, in regulating, fixing your problem, 70% of your efforts have to go towards maintaining that positive state of mind, that upful state of mind, that happy state of mind, that free state of mind, 
that relaxed state of mind, that loving state of mind, that gracious state of mind. Because 70% of your problem comes from your mind. So when you're there sitting down, high and holy, thinking that your life is not affected by the person in the elevator, the, the people you live with, the people you sit with, the people you speak with, the people you work with, the people you sit on the bus with, your life is affected by all these things there because all these people here affects your state of mind. So how is it then? Are you going to relate to all these different elements of your life? Ensuring that you don't damage yourself. Ensuring that, that your life that you live is a life that is actually for your own upliftment, for your betterment. Every single person around you can have an effect upon you. Every color around you can have an effect around you. Every smell around you can have an effect on you. Everything you hear around you can have an effect around you. So how is it that you react to your environment ensuring that, that your environment does not have that high level of negative impact upon you to the fact that or to the point that knowing that 70% of your disease condition actually comes from your state of mind, especially as a woman, when it comes to fibroids, cysts, you know, um, endometriosis, breast cancer, all these different conditions are hormonal de dependent conditions. They depend upon how your, your, the balance of your hormones are. So you're there sitting down high and holy, thinking that, that the people around you don't affect you. You don't care about nobody because da 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 da. No. Yeah. You don't have to really care about what people say or do. Yeah. But you would have to know how to respond to what people say or do. Because if it is that the things that you see gets you upset, then you are in trouble. So you have to ensure that all the things that you see. Right? The great majority of them are things that rise up your spirit, that makes you feel good, that makes you feel happy, makes you feel contented, uh, you know, makes you feel divine. Yeah, so as you open your eyes and you look around, and as you move from place to place, the things that you see, the things that you interact with, every single thing that you interact with, all these things there, are things that specifically, very, very specifically, uplift you. So it's not that you're gonna go and sit down and and the things that you're gonna be seeing, right? Whatever it is that you are seeing, you're sitting down, whatever you're seeing are basically things that get you sick, things that make you upset, things that make you say yuck, disgusted. No, you really have to begin to see Upful things. So when you look, you say, oh, give thanks. Oh, give thanks. So you have to surround yourself by beautiful sights, deliberately. Also, the things that you hear have to be very good things. You cannot have fibroids. You cannot have cysts. You cannot have endometriosis. You really cannot have any of these conditions. And then the life that you are living, the place that you are, right, the things that you hear around you all the time are only negative things. You, you, you cannot have fibroids. You cannot have polycystic ovarian syndrome. And then what you are surrounded by, the things you see with your eyes 
are things that get you upset. The things that you see with your eyes are things that make you um, get disgusted. The things that you hear with your ears are things that are not pleasant. The things that you hear with your ears are things that gives you bad feeling. No. Deliberately, because you understand that, that the things that you see with your eyes, the things that you hear with your ears, they affect your endocrine system. And understanding that, 70% of all these diseases that our sisters suffer from, from fibroids, polycystic ovarian syndrome, from, from um, endometriosis, from infertility, from scarred, scarred tubes where you have blocked tubes, from breast cancer, from ovarian cancer, many of these conditions definitely they stem from the fact that the great majority of our sisters have hormonal imbalance. And we're saying that your emotional state account for 70% of that imbalance. So we're saying again that, knowing that, ensure that the things that you see with your eyes bring you joy, pleasure, and gladness. Don't go someplace and go and look at things that's going to make you sad and depressed. Why would you want to do that? Right? Your hormones are already severely imbalanced. Right? Things are terrible in your life. You know, so at least go and see something that will make you feel good. Make you feel happy. Flood your bloodstream with oxytocin, dopamine, and serotonin. Don't go and look at things that will flood your bloodstream with cortisol and cause you to be estrogen dominant. Right? So, when we are at level of understanding that every aspect of our environment, our reactions to it, will determine definitely how is it that, how is it that our reactions to our environment will determine the reaction to our environment who determine what hormone actually goes through our bloodstream. So as a woman and you've been diagnosed with infertility, fibroids, polycystic ovarian syndrome, breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, endometriosis, Overstand that 70% of your problem comes from your emotional state. So, therefore, 70% of the solution is supposed to come from what? Your emotional state. So don't just go and have a hysterectomy and take out your womb and say, well, okay, you had fibroids, it's gone. So don't you understand that 70% of the reason why you had fibroids was because of your emotions? So can you just go and cut off your emotions? Can you just go and cut off your emotions? Can you just go and do a surgery to remove your sadness? Can you just go and do a surgery to remove anger? No. Well, you can cut off your frontal lobe and change your personality. Yes, you can. Right? But you cannot go and do a surgery to remove sadness and anger and all them things there. So even if you go and you do a surgery to remove your womb and re to, because you, you want to take care of the fibroids, the fact remains that 70% of the reason why you have the fibroids is because of your mental state and you cannot cut it off you have to fix it you have to take a time and fix your mental state so we say that don't live in a singularity live in a plurality understand that everything that you see with your eyes affects you Everything that you have with your ears affects you. 
Everything that you smell with your nose affects you. What you feel with your hands, things you touch, things you just sense, all these things, they affect you. So don't behave like you are living in a world by yourself and that the person in the elevator next to you don't affect you. They affect you. So if you see someone in the elevator, take opportunities. Grab them by the horn. It's an opportunity for you to make whatever your eyes see have a pleasant reaction. What your nose smell have a pleasant reaction. What you sense in that space have a pleasant reaction. So, if it is that you're in that elevator with someone and then you tell the person, blessed love, and the person tells you, oh, blessed love, that means that you are hearing words of love. Even if you say good afternoon, then the person would say good afternoon. Oh, you look wonderful today. Then the person would say, oh, give thanks. You look wonderful also. So that means that you are deliberately sowing in a positive force field. Because you know you have fibroids. You know you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. You know you have breast cancer. You know you have endometriosis. You know you are infertile. So it, it must be very deliberate to work upon that 70% of goodness. To ensure that. That the things you see, the things you hear, the things you taste, the things you smell, the things you touch and you feel are things that brings you goodness and happiness and joy and peace divine. I don't know if it is that you all are overstaying what I'm saying, you know. If you overstay what I'm saying, you know, tell me, yes, you are. Those of you on YouTube and uh, those of you on on Calabash Television in St. Lucia, we will open up the lines that you could actually give us a call, you know. And it is important that you make these things deliberate, you know. The things you see, what you smell, don't go and look at something that, that's not good. Why would you go and look at something that'll make you cry? Why? Don't look at it. Go and look at something that'll make you happy. Why do you go and smell something that, yeah? Give thanks, Empress, Mystical Fire Eye. Okay, all right. Posit all facts. Rolling 305, yes. Give thanks. Stephen Lassa, give thanks. Give thanks for all of those that acknowledge that they are hearing. Honorable Jadotta, give thanks. Wisdom of Pearl, give thanks. Marjorie Miller, yes, I am happy that you understand. So we begin to consciously apply these things that are in your life. So, taking care of fibroids is not just something that honorable I understand. There is power in words that also why affirmations are important. Yes, affirmations are important and the actions are even more important. Yes, priest, Christine, oh, give thanks. I'm hearing Empress Spice. All right. Not just hearing, you know, you're understanding what I'm talking about, the whole aspect of Lisa Wright. Oh, you're welcome. Right? I'm, I'm saying, are you understanding that? What you, you have to deliberately make your eyes see good things to make you feel good. You have to deliberately make your ears hear good things to make you feel good. You have to deliberately make your nose smell good things to make you feel good. You have to deliberately make your mouth taste good things to make you feel good. So you're working consciously on your emotions. So that means that you're trying to have a great control of your environment. Remember that you are an average of the seven person you spend the most time with. So don't go on. Greetings from Alaska. Ras Savage, give thanks. Right? So it is important that we, we, we don't just sit down and believe that, that taking care of fibroids and cysts and breast cancer and all them different things there. None of them things there in themselves are the disease. The cause of fibroids, polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, endometriosis, 
right? Certain of the breast cancers is hormonal imbalance, right? Hormonal imbalance. So the disease is really hormonal imbalance. And tonight, what we're focusing on is how is it that we are dealing with hormonal imbalance. So we spent the first half of the program primarily talking about how the 70% of your mind, your emotions, taking charge of your emotions, is 70% of how is it that you begin to cure, heal, eradicate fibroid, cyst, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and resurrect yourself from cancer. Right? The fact that you begin to consciously make your eyes see things that make you feel good, make your ears hear things that make you feel good, make your nose smell things that make you feel good, make your mouth taste things and say things and, and sing things that make you feel good. Right? So take that conscious decision to deliberately invest in your goodness by surrounding yourself with positive things because you are not in a singularity. We are in a plurality whereby we are a part of a, of, 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 of a bigger one. So let us work in that oneness. Let I and I work in that togetherness to bring ourselves forward to this divine state of healing. When we come again, we are going to go, you know, we are, we'll be talking specifically of the, um, the female package by the great physician international so when you come again we are going to go into that we are we are due for an intercession it's eight o'clock on the dot as you know we are live on calabash television in saint lucia so those of you on instagram and those of you on youtube i mean definitely um it is just not just that i'm doing a, an instagram live or youtube live in fact i'm in studio live on national television in saint lucia and i'm just sharing the moment with you so when you come again we're going to open up the line so that people could call in and even those on you on Instagram, you could call in. You know, we have a little speaker here today. I don't know if we will be able to hear if you have reverberations when the caller is speaking. But we'll just see how it is. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Yes, Rich Soul Foods, Honorable Sister, Blessed Love. So we give one intercession. When you come again, we'll continue. Blessed. <laughs> This year, we are conducting the 2022 National Population and Housing Census. We will be visiting every house in St. Lucia to conduct the census. When the enumerators visit you, they will introduce themselves, show their ID, the appointment letter, and explain the reason for their visit. Also on the ID, you will see details of the executing agency, which is the Central Statistical Office. They will be dressed in a green shirt, branded with the crest of the St. Lucia 2022 Population and Housing Census. Please cooperate with the enumerators and be truthful with your responses. All information will be treated in the strictest confidence. The information provided is to help government better serve your community. Anu Kote Setlisi. Bob and Dave were very proud to buy their mom a new energy saving fridge with lots of smart settings. They remember the old ways of energy saving. Mom always said, Close the fridge, you're wasting current. Smart advice then. Smart advice now. Close the fridge. You're wasting current. Saving energy is what's smart. Yes, we give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. We'd like to just open up the lines once more. We just want to open up the lines once more um, for the, the callers who want to call in to actually call and ask some questions. You know, but definitely what we're going to be doing, we're going to be going through the female package. Right? So the female package is a package that we have created from 2006, 2007. You know, that's a package we created. That package has been a consistent package from 2006, 2007. There have also there there have been like a lot of of growth and additions 
you know, um, into our process, you know, into making these medicines that we make right now. So as you know that we have rebranded, you know, so our labels are different and even the free up laxative, you know, is called also the coal lax, you know, coming out of Mont Kailash Rejuvenation Center. So the first step towards the female package would be the laxative, the colax, colon cleanser and lubricant. Right? So this here is a product that was created to increase the peristaltic action of the colon. So when you take this, it's going to increase the peristaltic action of the colon, meaning that it's going to make you actually um, poo-poo. It's going to cleanse you out. And it's not just going to cleanse you out just by like drawing out the water like a salt it's going to cleanse out by increasing of the peristaltic action contract contractions of the of the um, walls of the colon and that is as a result of it contains senna alada it also contains um ginger neem virgin coconut oil castor oil extra virgin olive oil and contains chia seeds and the chia seeds you know, does create like a, um, a, f a thick coating, a lining that helps to nutrify the lining of the, the, um, the colon and also helps to lubricate it. And the virgin castor oil, virgin coconut oil, and extra virgin olive oil blend is to help also in that lubrication. But you know that the castor oil is a very potent laxative. It is a purgative, in fact. And then we have... The ginger, the ginger is in the blend to help to actually just prevent too much griping and cramping. So when you take this, you just shake the bottle and you drink the entire bottle. And this would actually cause you to, about two to three hours afterwards, definitely, you would be going straight into the washroom and start to cleanse out your physical structure. Blessings from Connecticut. And even your virtual presence and projection of your God voice builds and comforts with the frequency airways. Thank you, blessed love. Shalom. Give thanks, honorable, for the beautiful words of life. Even the words you type actually sends comfort and blessings and, and love connections also. Give thanks, my brother. Give thanks. So the free up laxative is the first step, the first part of the female package so you drink it consists of six bottles the super female package contains seven bottles so you're gonna shake this bottle and you're going to drink the entire bottle after three hours you're going to just start going to the toilet and free up and cleanse because the beginning action is cleansing purging and this purging now is also a spiritual purge so as you purge physically you have to spiritually and emotionally purge yourself all bad ways and all different things you have to stop doing it right so after in the morning now in the morning time after you've taken that and you've cleaned out you know you drink lots of coconut water in the morning you know you could drink a nice little you know um kalalu soup you know you just drink things specifically to just help you as a person to just rehydrate your physical structure because you'd have been purging out and cleansing out all the toxins out of your physical structure. So what you do in the morning, you don't eat anything heavy or go and eat a bread and cheese, no. Right? You just drink plenty of coconut water, drink your water, you know, drink a nice green, you know, um, zipina, what they call a kalalu soup, something just to replenish your electrolyte, drill, sea moss, tea, cocoa tea, something nice and light, nothing too, too heavy right and in the uprising now you start the other five bottles so you have five bottles remaining and the, that self, that six bottle package plus the answer would have been the super female package for the woman which is what we recommend for the fibroids polycystic ovarian syndrome and all this endometriosis that you repeat this three times specifically through a 21 day cycle but go through a 28 day cycle of cleansing and purification all right so these other five bottles you would be taking them a tablespoon each three times a day so you take a tablespoon specifically of the blood detox then you take a, a, 
a tablespoon of the fertility, you take a tablespoon of the pure gold, a tablespoon of the fair over syrup, and a tablespoon of the pure green. So the, the, the blood detoxifier is one of the products that, that is designed for cellular cleansing. So what's going to happen is that when you take the blood detoxifier, after you've taken the free up laxative, it's going to go deep into the cellular aspect and just start to take off the free radicals, cleanse out the toxins from your cells. So it contains cassia rata, neem turmeric, ginger, periwinkle, cascara sagrada, sour orange, you know, definitely as a cellular cleanse to detoxify and cleanse and cleanse out the liver to decongest the liver to allow extraction of toxins from the physical structure. So you take a tablespoon of this, it is very bitter. Then we have the fertility. So the, fer the fertility is what we refer to as a, hormo a hormonal balancing and womb cleansing. So it is made out of St. John's bush, bitter melon, what they call the cerosy bush, also contains calabash, vervine, bay leaf, cinnamon, black cohosh, turmeric, ginger, and also contains periwinkle. So this product is designed to actually cleanse the womb. So it also helps to balance your hormones as a human. So you take this also one tablespoon of it three times a day. So after you've taken the laxative in the evening, then you have these five bottles. So we say the blood detoxifier and you have the fertility, which is the home cleanser and hormonal balancing tonic. You take a tablespoon of this, a tablespoon of this, and then you go to the other cleanser, which is the pure goal. The pure goal is a mucus remover. So it contains turmeric, right? It contains parsley and contains also what you call your Spanish needle, contains cayenne pepper, contains ginger, contains gully root, and contains some spring water. Definitely, that blend here is a raw blend. It's not a cooked blend. It's a raw blend, and it helps to extract mucus out of your physical structure. So it takes out cold, so it's a bit hot. So whereas this is bitter this hair is like a probiotic it's fermented this also is fermented um also but this hair is a hormonal cleanse hormonal balancer and also home cleanser mucus removing circulatory cardiovascular this is a cellular cleanse and then we have our fey duvant which is basically an animal root an animal root and an animal leaf syrup yes the books will be out towards the ending of september definitely looking forward to have that reach you so we have the fey duvan syrup which is the animal which is basically containing right animal what they call gully root you know cinnamon bay leaf nutmeg kelp sea moss and ital cane juice basically into a syrup this is sweet this is a tonic this tonifies the physical structure and what it does specifically it helps to actually regulate your blood it's a blood regulator so those of you who have actually pre-ordered the herbal manual I'm looking forward for your copies at the ending of september definitely as everything is in action already for that so we give thanks definitely so these four bottles as the four bottles and we have one more remaining right but we say after you take the laxative to the evening time right you drink the entire bottle it will make you poo poo cleanse you cleanse you cleanse you then you have the blood detoxifier to clean the blood you have the womb cleanser the fertility to actually balance the hormones and cleanse the womb you have the pure gold to remove the mucus and then you have, and, and work upon the circulatory system and then you have specifically the fade over syrup to help to regulate the blood all right and then we have the pure green the the, the purpose of the pure green the pure green is the iron tonic is the iron tonic it actually helps to boost up your iron okay it helps to boost up your iron so you drink that to actually boost up your iron so when it is that you are taking these products right what you're taking is that that's the complete female package and then when you have the answer the answer will make it the super female package and the answer will be for immune system enhancement and for shrinking of the fibroids uh, specifically so this female package is a package that we have available at um, Liffity on Jeremy Street and also on monkelashslew.com, monkelashslew.com. So those people who want to 
check out the price of the package and the package you know I will just type out the website to you right here bonkilashslu.com all right so that is where you could actually look up the package you could read on it go to onto our website read on it you know and you could see exactly what the package is so the package is a six bottle package for the ordinary package and then you have the super female package which is basically containing um, the answer so this is designed specifically for the woman and them to to check themselves and to cleanse out themselves you know so we a lot of women are afraid to take the package because they say well when they take the package they get pregnant and they don't want to get pregnant so we tell a woman don't don't say that you want to cleanse your womb or you want to take care of yourself to do to actually don't get pregnant all right so this is the super this is the female package right with the answer would make up the super female package the package of seven so the lines are open one seven five eight four five one nine three four nine one seven five eight four five three one seven three zero those people who want to actually give a call or those of you on instagram and on facebook who has a question definitely you could ask that question right now as we are taking calls we are taking comments we are taking all the feed forward that you have for us so we say well look if it is that you want to take care of your fibroids polycystic ovarian syndrome you want to take care of all these conditions just start by taking care of 70 percent of the for your mind yes pl we give thanks surround your eyes with beautiful things like going to the forest you know go by a river so you could hear some beautiful waters flowing you know hear some beautiful birds singing you know uh-huh so definitely you definitely need to actually check on them things there right and then you would also be able to help 70 percent of the way of the passage it's all up to you you know 30 percent is just the physical stuff what you eat what you drink what you what you what, what you actually um sip but the rest of it is all mind work m-i-n-d yes sir let me see what you say in here use green papaya for birth control ladies okay all right it it's to eat okay all right what would self-control is the best birth control who would you tell not to take the colon cleanse i mean if someone, I would, the people I would say not to take um, colon cleanse would be probably someone who's dehydrated, you know, or uh, someone who, um, probably have bleeding through the illness or some type of stuff, you know, or someone, you know, that that you know, yeah. But I mean, from three years old and up, you know, definitely you could actually call. You could use the free up laxative. Can the womb cleanser be taken alone? Yes, it can be taken alone. You know, it can be taken alone. The number to call is 1758. I'm going to put down the number. 1758. 451-451-9349. 9349. Post. Okay, I just posted the number. I'm not going to pin it. The number is right here. 451-9349. For those of you who want to give us a call, definitely give us a call. Let us know exactly what is happening. We have about a, a little bit of more minutes remaining. You know, um, so those of you who want to ask a question about the package, ask a question about um, mental work, how it is that you are a plural plurality and not a singularity. How is it that you need to surround yourself with positive things and positive people to, to add to that 70% of your survival? So if you diagnose with breast cancer or you diagnose with, with um, fibroids or polycystic ovarian syndrome, don't be around people who tell you sad story all the time. Don't go and be around people who are always fussing and quarreling and you're always in an argument. You know, don't go around you know, a place that stinks, that smells bad. Go to places that smell sweet. Um, go to places where you hear uplifting things. Go to places where you see uplifting things. All these things that would help you to actually produce the good hormones to help to boost up your immune system to help, you know, in your survival rate. And as we say, for those people who have never taken our female package, 
I don't know if there is anyone online there who have taken our, there should have some people who have taken our female package. There should even have people who could make children and make children already right online there after taking the female package. So we say it begins with the free up laxative, which is basically a colon cleanse. Then we have the cellular cleanse, which is the blood detoxifier, you know, to clean out the blood, clean out the liver. Then we have the um, fertility to help to cleanse out the womb and balance the hormones. The pure goal helps to remove mucus, it will help with circulation to decrease the crumping during your cycle. The Fiduva syrup helps to regulate the blood, potent immune system enhancer, and the pure green basically designed to boost up the iron levels. So it is important that we work with the physical and the emotional hand in hand and don't just believe that as if when you have a fibroid you could cut it off or you have a seed you could go and drain it or you have endometriosis you could just take off your whole womb or something you know it is important that we take full responsibility analyze our past analyze our traumas ensure that we actually resolve our traumas ensure that we surround ourselves with positive people positive things where we work we try to make that environment as happy as possible if we're in an elevator with someone make the environment as happy as possible if it is that you're walking down the road with people make that environment as happy as possible understand that that every one that you meet every place that you go everything that you see ultimately affects you right i did and now have my kings 17 14 12 and 8 they are fine mystic okay give thanks for taking the female package so definitely we do give thanks for life and the mighty life giver so when it is that we understand that you know we understand how is it that we work in this unity how is it that we work in this oneness so it is not just only the medicines that you are taking but also the state of mind that you have to get into whereby you take that emotional responsibility understand that 70 percent of the problem that you have why you have cancer 70 percent of the problem that you have why you have polycystic ovarian syndrome 70 percent of it comes from your Hello. mental right give thanks yes caller blessed go ahead okay, I think we good lost evening the... yeah blessed go ahead very 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 interesting program you have here C can you put up the volume a bit higher hello yes I'm, I'm hearing you very interesting program do you do consultation do you do consultation only via appointments yes we do do you do consultation yes do you do consultation only via yes i've answered you i said yes we do consultations only How via can i make an appointment to see you you just call four five one eight eight one three four five yes, one huh? okay give thanks Four five one eight eight one three. Thank you are you. listening to Thank your you TV and you are listening to the phone. Just listen to the phone only. Okay, right. thanks. Yeah. Okay. So it's four five one eight eight one three. You could hang up and even listen for consultations. Four five one eight eight one three. All right. Give thanks. So definitely, um, this is basically um, what we have to, to offer even this evening as we are focused on the whole aspect of women's problems and we are looking at how it is. Do you have weed in bottle for drink too? Weeds are things that's not good. What are you talking about? Weed is when you put things that's growing somewhere that's not good. Let me understand that. Took the mail package yes, years ago, priest. You need to take it again. What kind of diet do you recommend while well, on these products? Well, basically a plant-based livet, you know, and try your best to avoid foods with preservatives. Try to eat as light and green as possible. You know, um, also plenty of iron-building foods, you know, plenty of mineral-building foods, you know, um, plenty of cleansing and detoxification, plenty of herbal teas like red raspberry, St. John's bush, you know, um, stinging nettle, guinea hen weed you know so all these things they form of a principal part of your livet so these products also do come if when you're on a 21 day program it does also come with a nutritional guide and a guide of the herbs you're supposed to actually be be using so the super meal package can also be found on richsoulfoods.com so um, you could get on monkeylastudo.com and also richsoulfoods.com you could also get the mail 
package. That is richsoulfood.com. Okay, richsoulfood.com. Give Brother Akim there. Right, so give thanks for all of you who have been with us this evening as we are definitely sealing up this, this program. Remember that we have been speaking primarily of um, the human and the, and, and the condition that he's suffering from and how is it that um, what is actually controlling the, the, the whole human system is uh, hormones and how important it is to actually balance the hormones, balance your hormones. And we say that 70% of the problem of hormonal imbalance come from your emotional state, your mental state. So you have to do 70% of the solution also would have to come from that. So we say surround yourself with positive people, things you see make it positive, things you hear, things you smell, you know, and know that you are in a polarity, not a singularity, overstanding that, overstanding that everything around you affects you. Everything around you would actually add or minus from your wellness. So take a time out. You know, listen to yourself and definitely take time out to do good for yourself. So we say we have the colon cleanse, the colax, free up laxative, freedom of movement internationally to cleanse out the colon. You know, and this is actually taken, it's a one dose, right? A one dose, you just drink the entire bottle and free out, and you don't eat anything after. Three hours after, for sure, guarantee that you're going to be going to the toilet to ease off your bowel, free up. If it does not work, it comes back with a money back guarantee, right? So this here, the other five bottles here is the blood detoxifier to, to cleanse out you cellularly, decongest the liver. And also you have the, the fertility, um, a home cleanser, and also hormonal balancer. We give thanks, and then we have the, the pure goal, helps with circulation. You know, helps also with removal of mucus, very important. Then we have the Feiduva syrup, which is the, the um, blood regulator to regulate the blood. And we have the pure green that's going to boost up your blood, right? Give thanks, definitely. Tony Top, IR777. Enough thanks. Alpha Fire Priest, give thanks. Manners in your Rastafari. Oh, give thanks. Some kind of language here. Honorable Tony. Yes, yeah, so give thanks for all of you who have joined us this evening. Give thanks for everyone who actually commented. All peace and love. All blessings for all those of you on YouTube. Give thanks. Zim Zim, priest. How does a woman know her cycle when she sees her period only one day, some months, and no period some months? She must have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Right? She must have cysts on her ovaries. Her hormones are severely imbalanced. Yes, caller. Blessed. Caller, go ahead. Go ahead, caller. We listening. I think that caller have a problem. Technician. Anyway, give thanks, Lisa Wright. Dread Concrete, love from. Yes, I. Rastafari, law 758. Give thanks for everyone who has been with us this evening. Definitely call her. I mean, it's okay. We, we will take your call probably following Sunday when we are live again. Give thanks for the female package. Just check the website, monkelaslu.com. The price of the package is right there. Okay, so if you want to know the price, monkelaslu.com. Monkelaslu.com. Dread Concrete. Check out the female package. The whole program today, we're going to save the life. Um, dread concrete so then you could just go forward and and um, and look at that program again to answer your question and definitely we give thanks for all those of you who were live with us today on our Instagram channel and those of you who were live with us specifically on our YouTube channel and give thanks for everyone who was live with us specifically also on Calabash television the Almighty God keep on blessing you make his holy face shine upon your holy face a love, peace divine. Ja, Rastafari. Yes, I love.